Welcome to Faculty Insight, brought to you by Harvard Extension School in partnership with ThoughtCast. I'm Jenny Atia, and I'm speaking with Arnold Howitt, the Executive Director of the Ash Center for Democratic Governance and Innovation and co-director of the Program on Crisis Leadership at Harvard's Kennedy School of Government. Arn, your expertise is in emergency preparedness and disaster management, and you teach these subjects at Harvard Extension School and the Kennedy School. These are daunting subjects, emotionally wrenching, I would imagine. What is it like for you to focus on subjects like Hurricane Katrina, earthquakes in China? I think it's very difficult, and when you visit the scenes of one of these uh, events, it, it is in fact something that, that gets to you emotionally as well as intellectually. Um, but I think also it, it feels like an area where you can really make a difference in people's lives, and therefore I think it's really important to be involved. You've also co-edited a book called Managing Crises, and in that is a very interesting case study on Hurricane Katrina, full of detail about lots of things that went wrong. Do you think if we were to have another, we would have learned some of these lessons and would do it better? I think that there's been a lot of improvement, and the answer is that I think we would definitely do it better. However, I think that fundamentally, disasters of the scale of Katrina uh, are going to be highly chaotic, unpredictable, uh, very difficult for the people who are responding or the people who are uh, commanding the responders at a distance uh, to have a good idea of what's going on. Uh, one of the characteristics of these kinds of situations is that uh, at least half of what you think you know at the, in the very early stages turns out not to be true. Hurricane Katrina was a monster, much bigger than what most people had ever seen in that area. Mm -hmm. It will overwhelm the best intentions, the best preparations. I think that's absolutely true. One of the uh, major problems in emergency management is that you are planning for and spending money, sometimes large sums of money, uh, for events that may never happen. And it doesn't make much sense, certainly for communities, to have all the emergency management capability that they might need for the biggest conceivable disaster that they might face. And for that reason, in many areas of emergency management, jurisdictions have mutual aid agreements um, and arrangements for scaling up their response, creating a surge capacity. It's very well worked out in areas like fire protection or uh, emergency medical services. We're not quite so good at doing it for events that require all kinds of emergency response capability. And it is very difficult to do it in the very largest uh, disasters like Katrina that you could call a landscape scale disaster. Um, that storm covered an area in the United States that was about the size of Great Britain. It seems that in many of these disasters, and in Hurricane Katrina in particular, there's a sense of psychological paralysis that can take over. People are overwhelmed. How do you combat that? Well, I think it's very difficult to predict for people who have never been involved in a situation like that who will respond well and who will not. And often there are big surprises, as the military finds out in training leaders. So to some degree, this is a question of being tested in repeated situations and making sure that you put in leadership positions people who have experience and who have proven themselves to be good under fire. Once again, if we're to look at your case study on Hurricane Katrina, there are plenty of examples of activity in preparation. For example, FEMA provided funding for an exercise to plan for a Category 3 storm in New Orleans. A great deal of planning went into this exercise. However, funding dried up and there was no money to put into action solutions that came up from the exercise. I think this points to some positive things about what was done, but also some fundamental problems in this area. Positively, the exercise was a very good idea to pull together people from a variety of organizations, from many jurisdictions in the area, and get them focused on something that the Bush administration had identified as one of the prime worries they had in the disaster area. I'll say parenthetically that at the beginning of the Bush administration, they, FEMA had identified the three worst fears that they had were a terrorist attack on New York, a horrible hurricane hitting New Orleans, and an earthquake in San Francisco. They got two out of three. 
so the Hurricane Pam exercise was an effort to think ahead and uh, bring the people who would have to, some of the people who would have to respond into a planning effort to figure out what they would need to do in case such a hurricane occurred. Um, they didn't predict it perfectly, but the uh, Hurricane Pam exercise, even though imaginary, actually captured many of the features of Hurricane Katrina. However, uh, many of the things that they would have needed to do to make things better were very expensive, and there was no money to do many of the things that they did identify. And I think this points to a problem of emergency management. There are many other things that compete for budget funds. Uh, people want better education, they want better health care, or they want money given back in tax cuts. And planning for uh, a catastrophe um, that hasn't happened before and that may never happen uh, is very difficult for political leaders to fund uh, when there are many tangible demands for things that people need right now. After 9-11, three quarters of FEMA's budget was moved to terrorism. That's correct. There it goes. Well, I think that in many ways um, that was a problem, that, that certainly FEMA de-emphasized natural disasters more than they ought to have done. Um, but I do think that many of the capabilities that you would develop for one kind of disaster may in fact um, be appropriate for others. Um, and to the extent that they were preparing for the consequences of terrorism, um, a lot of those things were applicable to natural disasters. Uh, the difficulty, I think, came in the fact that a great deal of the uh, attention to terrorism, which was needed, was for prevention of terrorism, which doesn't figure for uh, natural disasters. Many would say in retrospect that we were uh, underspending in that area. Arn Howard, thank you very much. You're very welcome, Jenny. Thank you. You've been watching Faculty Insight, brought to you by Harvard Extension School in partnership with ThoughtCast. I'm Jenny Atia. Thank you for joining us.